Hey guys, Cody with Double C Custom Leather. We're coming to you guys with a video today. Um, we're gonna do something a little different. Uh, I've been toying with the idea of doing some tool reviews, maybe some uh, product reviews. Um, some of the things that I use in the shop make my job a little bit easier. I wanna kinda share and get out there, um, show you guys where you can buy them, where you can get them. If you're somebody who does leather work as a hobby, um, you may not be interested in some of these tools, but if you're somebody who does it as a business, you definitely um, want to have the best tools to put out the best product for your customers. <clears throat> and even as the hobbyist, uh, you still might find it interest, it's interesting um, to, to see some of these different tools and how they work and what the price tag is on them and that kind of thing. So what I'm going to do today is we are going to go out in the garage and I have a uh, airbrush setup. It's brand new. I, I just bought it. I um, haven't used it yet. Uh, I've had an airbrush set up for a long time, however it quit on me, so I was like, well, I'm going to re, re up on all my airbrush supplies. So I went out and bought a, one of the actual airbrush uh, compressors, um, an airbrush, and all the, the hoses and, and knickknacks that go with it, and it came as a kit. So I will link in the description below to where you can find one of these if you like it. Uh, go check out the link, and you should be able to get it off Amazon, that's where I got mine from. So, um, the project we're going to work on that's going to be part of the, this is a, a paddle holster. Um, we're doing another review on the paddle, uh, which is made by G-Code. Um, we're going to do a review on that once we get this holster done. Like I said, I want to test it before I actually do a review on it. So, um, and this is going to be the test for this, for this air compressor. Uh, one of the things with these reviews is I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm not going to tell you, oh, this is a great product. If I don't think it is, um, I've never been one to do that. So uh, I don't plan to start now. Uh, I have no affiliations with these people. So whether or not you go out and buy it is, I could care less. I just want to show you, give you the facts, tell you what I think, and then uh, and then let you make your own decision. So we'll go out in the garage, we'll get started. I'll show you some of the different uh, airbrush stuff. All right, guys. So this is my little airbrush setup. I'm sorry, it's dark here um, at my house. So I have like a little cardboard airbrush station um, I do have a little external light there so when you buy this airbrush package this is what you're gonna get you're gonna it's gonna come with a nice little case here um, the case is actually kind of cheap this is actually a really cheap airbrush there's a lot more expensive ones than this um, and what you're gonna get is an airbrush itself um, before you airbrush make sure you take off this cap There's a cap on the end here, and that can cause you a lot of problems if you, uh, and this thing's loose. Well, so here's our first problem. There's an O-ring there that's supposed to kind of keep all this, and it's smashed out. Um, that's not good. Hold on, let me set this camera down. So if you see, this was loose when it came. I literally just took this thing out of the package. So I guess somebody over tightened it and there's a little O-ring there that was smashing out. That's not cool. Um, so here's your airbrush. The way you operate this is you hold your, your, your paint's gonna be here, your air is gonna be here, and then this trigger. And you control it by pushing down, pulling back, and then you can control the amount of uh, of paint or dye that comes out. You have a little set screw here that you can set and push back. I'm gonna, I'll play with that. Um, I got a couple of test pieces of leather and then there's an adjustment here for air control, I believe. Yeah. So it's just a cheap, it's just a cheap airbrush. It's nothing, nothing fancy. Let's move this back around where we get out of our light. Um, you'll have this. I had one of these on my last airbrush. I did not use it at all. This is more for painters. Um, it's a little funnel. I didn't use that at all with, with leather. Um, you will have a nipple for an attachment if, uh, if that's what you're using. This is a, uh, a wall hanger, so if you set up a permanent airbrush station, this can hang up and your airbrush can, can sit there. I won't use that either. Then you have a little wrench that they send you with it. Uh, this is this is just for taking your airbrush apart And then oh, I lost my light. Hold on a second
Oh, sorry about that. All right, and this is the most important piece here. This is your uh, your dye canister. This is, I'll fill this up with dye and this will get you a long way. A little bit of dye with an airbrush goes a long way. So we'll go ahead and take that out and set it down. We'll put our airbrush over here. And then, so also with this kit, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get a high pressure hose. Um, this screws on to your compressor. This is, it's made by Central Pneumatic. Like I said, guys, this is like Harbor Freight brand, super cheap. Um, it's got a little handle on it, on off button on the front. You want to plug it into some sort of electric and you can hear very, very quiet. Um, at the top, you have a uh, pressure gauge. You're not going to want to start airbrushing until you get some pressure built up. Right now it won't build pressure because I have this unhooked. So I'll screw that on and then just test it and we get, we're getting air coming out of here. So we know, Let's see if I cover it up, see that pressure gauge shoots up. So we're gonna get some pressure. So we know everything works there, that's good. I'm actually really happy with, with the compressor itself. It's super quiet. Um, and we'll get to testing this stuff out. Let me flip this camera around and we'll get to painting. All right, guys, and I apologize about the really poor lighting. We'll do a how to airbrush video sometime down the road. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to connect our airbrush here and make sure it's snug. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to turn this on just to check. We're getting, we're getting airflow out of there, so that's good. Had something rattling. One of the things I recommend you get, it doesn't come with a kit, is one of these. If you use fivings, fivings does not pour out of uh, out of the jar very well. So I use one of these syringes just to suck it up and put it in the container, and it allows me to get exactly how much I need. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a step up. So we're gonna do English Bridal, which is our lightest color, and then mahogany around the edge, and then right around the very, very edge of it, we're gonna do black. So it's gonna give us a really cool kind of a sunburst effect, um, or like a faded effect. So I'm gonna pull up just a little bit of English Bridal here. See, this little bit right here is going to go a, a really, really long way. Put your cap on. We got plenty of pressure in our tank. You're going to attach this to the bottom of your airbrush, like so. And you should be able to start painting. It takes a little while for the air to come out, so that's why I recommend having something cardboard so you can... Oh. I see another problem here. Okay, got to make one adjustment. Because when you're airbrushing, you typically have this tilted forward, you're going to want to adjust this hose to where it is curved forward. That's going to allow you to tip forward and actually pick up dye. So now we should be ready. All right. So just long, smooth strokes, just like if you were painting with a wool dauber. see get a nice smooth even application right on the first spray that should be done I like the way that turned out so now instead of swapping my my dies I'm gonna go straight to doing my project you 
see how pretty that comes out. One thing I will say is if you're doing a lot of this, you might want to be, I'm looking around my garage and it's just like stagnant paint fumes. Uh, you may want to uh, wear a respirator or some sort of mask. Yeah, I definitely want to wear a mask. <coughs> I'm gonna bring the light over here so you can see a little better. See how pretty that came out and we match that, those two pieces up perfectly. That's how it should be done, that's how it should look. So um, my review of this is so far, so far so good other than that first little snafu when we pulled it out of the packaging. So what I'm going to do now is I will undo, undo my cap, I'll spray my excess paint out, make sure I get a good clean airstream so that way I'm not getting any of that Spanish, what is it, English bridle onto the, into the new container and we're going to put some mahogany in there. What we're going to do with this mahogany is go around the edges. And put that back on. This I've airbrushed with this mahogany before and it turns out beautiful. Um, we're gonna bring back our test piece. Let's see how this looks. Spray until we get mahogany coming out. And then we're gonna go around the edges. And you can get closer. how that kind of works in a sunburst gives you more of a worn look I like the way that looks we'll transfer that over to our project Spray our, spray our airbrush clean. We're gonna dump our mahogany out. It's always good to keep a rag somewhere close to because you will get some of this on your finger and you don't want to touch your project and get a big blob of dye on there. Let's go back to our syringe. Draw up some black. We don't need much here. We'll squirt that black in there. Go back to our test piece. what it'll look like um, on our on our project we have a lot more a lot more mahogany 
look a lot better. And see there, this is what you get. And then what we'll do, just because I don't like how bright it is, we'll just lightly spray from far away, spray a little black kind of dumb it down a little bit so it's not so bright. And that's the thing about the airbrush is you really can be a whole lot more versatile. You see we kind of dumb down the middle to where it's not so not so dark. So as you can see guys, um, you can do some really cool stuff with the airbrush and that's just that's just a tiny portion of what you can do. Um, it's something I definitely would recommend um, if you're getting sick of just the plain old dyes and, and doing projects the same way. Um, <clears throat> I mean, if you're doing this for a business, you can charge a premium for something that's airbrushed. I mean, it, it takes more time. So uh, it, it's something that you can definitely definitely upcharge for and customers love it I'll be the first to tell you I get I get orders for this all the time so um, it's definitely something to look into um, if you're looking to buy one that I, I would definitely recommend that for beginners airbrush it's it's perfect um, if all you're doing is airbrushing all day long that's probably not the, the airbrush for you um, because it is built a little cheap and I'm, I'm sure as far as holding up like hard use it's probably not gonna not going to play out that well but i may i may do one airbrush project out of every 10 projects so for me it, it works fine um i had the same airbrush i just ran it off of a big compressor um prior to this and it lasted me about four years so um for something that's sub 100 bucks you can't beat that um and i definitely would recommend getting the little compressor as well um and not running it off a big compressor uh, it, it's much quieter. You can definitely control your <clears throat> your your die stream ten times better. I did notice that tonight, uh, and it's the compressor itself. I feel like is going to last twice as long as the airbrush will. So if you buy the compressor and the airbrush, and the airbrush quits on you in a couple years, just buy a new airbrush. They're twenty thirty bucks. So um, <clears throat> I'll put a link down below, and you guys go check it out. If it's something that you want to want to do, definitely give it a shot. And uh, make sure to like, subscribe, check out some of the videos we have coming soon. Uh, we'll be doing a one on airbrushing and we'll go in a little bit more detail how to clean your stuff and a little bit more things you can do with the airbrush. So see you guys next time.